Hi everyone, my name is Ira Fay, and I'm working with Cody Miller on Aridia, The Paths We Dare Tread. And in this video, I wanted to go over everything that goes into an item tile in Aridia. And I'll say from the beginning, there are no spoilers here. Everything here is placeholder stuff, so you don't, you don't need to worry about that. And what you're looking at is on the left side, that's the front of a tile, and on the right, that's the back of a tile. And we're using InDesign for layout, and we're using the data merge feature, which combines with an Excel spreadsheet that I've created to generate a whole bunch of tiles using basically uh, the same template. And you'll see what sort of options we've, we've built into it. All right, so what do you see on the top left? Oh, and I should mention, these are these tiles, this is really zoomed in a lot because these tiles are 30 millimeters by 60 millimeters, and those are the pieces of cardboard, and some of them are 30 millimeters by 30 millimeters. So they're, they're relatively small objects, and we're just zooming in here so you can see this is great art by Mr. Cunnington, and... Um, you, oh, you might notice the bleed. This is the area that's outside of the printable area of the because it just gives a little bit of buffer to the printer. The black line is where we expect the the cut to actually happen in the in the punch board. Okay, so what are we seeing here? In the top left is an icon that shows that both the tier of the loot and the particular class that's going to use it. This icon is the warrior class. You can see on the back of the tile, it also says warrior. So remember one of the things about Aridia is we want it to be a reusable game. So if you play through a campaign, we want it to be resettable. This, this is one way that you could reset the loot if you need to. All right, so we have a title, we have a beautiful piece of art, we have stats down here. This is how much damage this piece of armor will absorb and how many times its durability, how many times it can absorb the damage and where it's located. So all of these things are variable in the spreadsheet. We can just change the value in the spreadsheet and then these will get updated. We have the type of item it is, the price uh, description, and which sort of tier and which, which class or path can use it. So I'll go to the next record and you'll just see how things can change. Again, placeholder stuff, but here I just named it better, Gambison. Same art, but obviously in the actual game we'd have different art. Every every piece of loot has unique, unique art on it. I'm reusing it here to avoid spoilers. So different, slightly different icon. You can see it's a different background, more just a slightly more polished icon, but still for the warrior. And the stats have gone up. So that's an example of armor. Now we also want to be able to do weapons. And so you'll notice the, the bottom area is gonna change pretty significantly when I go to a weapon. So this is an example short sword. Now you notice there's a range down here and the fact that it's a held item, obviously no longer do we have sort of where on the body it goes because you can choose left or right hand, whichever you prefer. The stat that you need, the thresholds to achieve a given damage pattern, and then the damage pattern. You may notice that in this view right now, this damage pattern is not horizontally centered in this space. Don't worry. Uh, I have a whole separate video that I can do on all of the details of getting this centered, but in the, in the final version, obviously, it will be centered beautifully in that space. And we might end up changing exact, you know, the, the look, maybe a little bit of this, but you know, it, this should give you a good sense of the components that go into an item. So this is a damage pattern and this gets built in the spreadsheet. Now I'll, I'll go over that in a, in a separate video. Okay. So here's an example of just a more powerful damage threshold and the fact that it can use different stats. So you might notice this changed color for decks. This is, this is the color for decks. And now this damage pattern also has something going down and it's piercing damage. So it's just, I'm just, again, this is not the actual damage pattern for the sword, but, and I don't think we're going to have something called dex short sword in the game, but it gives you a sense of sort of the flexibility of the system. Okay. So that's a good example of armors armor and weapons, but what about other things? So for instance, what about something that you're going to hold in your hand, but is not necessarily you're going to attack with it? For instance, you might have a loot. So the, the bard gets a loot. This is the bard icon up here, and this is a level one loot, and you get to see, okay, that's, you know, it doesn't have a range icon, but you still are going to have to hold it in your hand. So that's an example of what this system can still do. 
Another thing that's special is that the Rangers get bows and quivers, and they are a really cool combination because the quiver gives you basically special arrows. And so you don't, we don't put the damage pattern down here for the bow. We just give you the thresholds and the stat and the range. But then when you go to your quiver, you see, okay, I have different, like sort of two different kinds of arrows. This does piercing damage with plus two range, and this has a different damage pattern. So again, placeholder stuff, but it gives you a sense of what we can do again, all with this, this spreadsheet and the data merge feature in InDesign. Okay. The last thing I'll show is a spear and what's cool about this spear. And you can see it took a, my computer a moment to load this. I'm showing everything at high resolution and, and these images really are very high resolution for purposes of printing. So sometimes it takes a moment to load. Um, what you're seeing here is normally the spear at range one can do this attack pattern, but we also have the ability to put markers on the loot. And so if you want to have a single use, like you want to throw your spear, you can then get extra range out of it. And then you remove the marker, you, you put a marker on it, and then you remove the marker once you use it. And that way it shows that you've thrown it. So that's just a quick overview of the way we're building the loot tokens for Iridia and to actually get it to the printer. And I hope that's been useful to you all. I will be doing a second video that's even more in depth that goes into really the nitty gritty of the spreadsheet and, and all of the details that went into getting this centered and the script that I wrote and all of that. But uh, hopefully for most people, this gives you a good overview of the items. Please post questions or comments in the, the comment section of this video or in on the Kickstarter page. Thanks so much.